A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Fellow mathematicians, there was a deep dive. Welcome back to another video. So today is the last day of uh, talking about repeating decimals. Okay, that's the last time around. Then this little mini series on repeating decimals is over. And today we want to um, ask ourselves the ultimate question, namely, what about the myth, the legend, the meme, o dot nine 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 nine? What does it equal to? Well. If you look at meme communities, etc., and all the viral math problems shit, you are going to see that they all claim that the answer to this question right here is one. But is this the case? Um, spoiler, <laughs> so this is going to make everything really quick. Yes, the answer in the real numbers is going to be one by the definition of a regular limit. And we can also show this algebraically. I'm going to show you three methods today. But just as a little side note, there are other um, number fields or other number sets where 0.9999 and 1 are actually um, different kinds of numbers. Okay, For example, in the three numbers, you might have heard about those before, um, their limits are differently defined and actually those differ by a very, very small amount okay, of number. Other than that, okay, I'm going to show you three methods today to show um, how to turn 0.999 into 1. And yeah, this is what we are basically going to do today. And I hope you are going to enjoy the video. But before we dive into the main video, I would like to thank the wonderful people from Wondershare who are kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. And the product I want to present to you today is the Filmora Video Editor. And actually, I used the Filmora Video Editor to edit this video here today too. I'm very glad that the wonderful people from Wondershare were kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel because um, you might know from previous videos that I'm a vivid Wondershare user myself. So I'm using PDF Allen Pro as my main um, PDF viewer and editor and I'm also using Wondershare's demo creator to record screen captures just like the screen capture you see just now and as a quick source of video editing. And now here comes Filmora which is a whole new class of video editor for itself. Not only does it look really good, in my opinion, but it also can do a lot of the stuff and even more stuff from time to time than, for example, um, Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, which is pretty impressive, in my opinion. What I really like about Filmora is just the easy and intuitive interface and it can offer a lot of options. For example, um, one key feature that Filmora offers is motion tracking. When I try to do motion tracking in After Effects or Premiere Pro, it's always um, a bit hard to do, but here on Filmora it's actually pretty easy to be honest. You just pick a frame in a picture you want to follow all the time and then you can just render everything and it's mo going to motion track, for example, my hand here. Um, and other than that, you can do a lot of color correction, just like you could do in DaVinci Resolve. Um, and, and the color correction is actually pretty good. So, so the automatic one is one that I like to use from time to time. If my lighting isn't too good in some frames or some shots, then I like to color correct those with Filmora really quick. Other than that, it comes with the very usual stuff. You can split sections of a video, glue everything together. You can detach and attach audio and the like. And other than that, they also offer this very cool thing called um, film stocks. And film stocks is their own big library of, of stock footage, be it video stock footage, audio stock footage, or just um, pictures in general. They also offer a wide variety of free stock footage that you can use to your liking. You just need to create a Wondershare account and then you get access to it. And other than that, it's just linked to Filmora in itself already, which is pretty cool. You can import all the assets to Filmora with just one simple click. And it's, it's, it's really good. It's a really good system and it offers you a lot of cool effects that you can put into your video too. So if this feels like it's something for you, make sure to check out the link at the top of the description. There you will be redirected to the Filmora website and you can try out the free trial for yourself. It's actually a pretty good program and with the whole film stocks um, compatibility, it actually makes editing everything way nicer and you can add a lot of effects and stuff. And you might notice that the video quality of today's video really doesn't differ any 
in any way from my regular stuff that I create with um, Premiere Pro for example. So yeah, this definitely speaks for itself because the quality is definitely being maintained here and that's really good if you ask me. So definitely check it out and support the channel this way and now we are going to dive to the main video. Let us go ahead and get started with the um, very first algebraic method which is really easy and this is probably the method that your teacher would show to you um, if you are only in like 6th or 7th grade. Namely, at first we are going to observe something. If you ever dealt with repeating decimals, you are going to notice that the first one you are probably going to learn about is one third. And one third as a decimal expansion is nothing other than 0 0.3, 3, blah, 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 up until infinity. Now, what is going to happen if we take this amount twice, okay? So taking two times one third is going to turn into two thirds. And this is obviously, okay, our threes are going to double, turning this into 0.666, blah, blah, blah. Now, what is going to happen if we take this one third thrice? Okay, we are going to take three times one third. Now, three times one third is going to turn into three over three. But if we take all the threes right here times three, okay, in the decimal expansion, we are going to get out 0 0.99 blah, 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 up until infinity, which is the um, quantity we are seeking after. But by definition, of um, fractions and if we reduce those 3 over 3 is going to cancel out into just being 1 divided by 1 which is by definition nothing other than 1. Meaning this right here is going to give us the equality 0 0.9999 is equal to 1 and hence we are done. This is a nice algebraic way to show that those two numbers are actually the same. Now there are other ways and now we are going to um, go one step further and solve an equation basically. Okay or we are going to solve a system of equation. Let's let's put it like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the prerequisites from other videos. We are going to take a look at 0 0.99999 and we are going to multiply it with a factor of 10. Now Let's say this right here is our number n that we are seeking after. And now if we multiply our n by 10, what is going to happen is we are going to move one decimal place to the left everything. This is going to result in 9.99 dot dot dot. Okay, now we got this and what we want to do now is we want to eliminate our terminating decimals right here. Is it called terminating decimals? I don't know, um, our repeating decimal part basically. Two, eliminate those from this 10 times n, what we are going to do is we are just going to subtract the decimal part from it. Because each and every decimal number can be just expressed as um, our integer part plus the fractional part. And this right here is actually also the fractional part once again. So we can just subtract the fractional part from this whole number to get ourselves just the integer part. Meaning what we are going to do is we are going to subtract our n from our 10n resulting in 9.99 dot 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 and also okay just subtracting everything um, I'm trying to write my nines like the American boys okay because you are shitting at me all the goddamn day because of my nines <laughs> so I try to reconsider a tiny little bit okay just for the English audience and now what is going to happen is we are just going to cancel out our nines right here leaving us with the equality of okay our n is a common factor we can factor it out gives us 10 minus 1 times n being hence nothing other than okay Eliminating the decimal part is going to give us 9. And now you might notice that 10 minus 1 is nothing other than 9. And now, yeah, now I wrote the 9 like I usually do. And now we are going to divide both sides by 9 on both sides because it's not equal to 0, giving us n being equal to 9 over 9. And 9 over 9 by definition, cancelling everything out just like before, it's going to give us 1. Meaning, this is another way to prove this whole thing, okay, going one step further from simple algebra to a system of equations that we are going to solve, okay, first equation is going to be n equal to blah 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 and the second equation is 10 n being equal to this, okay, so yeah, we are going one step upwards and once again we have shown that n is equal to 1 is the same as 0.9 repeating. Now we are going to go one step upwards. Once again, we are going to upgrade our repertoire of methods. Now we are going to go over to basically limits and just regular analysis, you could say, or calculus in general. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at the tens places of our 0.999, okay? What I mean by this is, and I made a separate video on that, what you are going to notice is that this first nine right here at the first decimal point can be represented as 
um, 9 times 10 to the negative 1 of power. So this number that we have right here is 9 times 10 to the negative 1 of power. Then what we got left is that we have to add to it 0.099999 repeating. If we want to represent the 0.09 once again like this, we are going to have that this is 9 times 10 to the negative 2 of power. So plus 9 times uh, 10 to the negative 2 of power. And so on and so forth. Okay, we can add all the other terms to it. Okay, this is a multiplicative um, composition of numbers and so on. We can do this up until infinity. This is just a decomposition into infinitely many terms of um, those repeating decimals. Now you are going to notice that 9 is a common factor giving us overall 9 times and now we are going to have 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 squared plus 1 over 10 to the third power plus da 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 up until infinity. And this right here is just a geometric series, which is really nice. So let us rewrite this a tiny bit more into summation notation to make it a bit more clear. What we got here is 9 times a sum where k is greater or equal to 1 because we are starting off with 10 to the 1 of power down here in the denominator. So 1 over 10 to the k of power. Now this right here is nearly a geometric series. Okay, I was lying before actually because what is missing is our zero of member of the series. Zero of member is 1 tenth to the zero of power which is nothing other than 1. But this is not a problem at all because we can subtract the 1 and add it once again. This is like adding a zero and if I give you uh, this summation of apples and don't give you any more apples to it, you are going to get just the summation of apples right here. Okay, meaning what we are going to do is we are going to add a 1 to it and subtract it right again. Now this part right here is just a regular geometric series then if we add the 1 to it in our 1 tenth. Meaning this is 1 over 1 minus 1 tenth. Now we can play around with this expression a tiny little, little bit more just like you would play around with your girlfriend at home. I mean 1 minus 1 tenth is going to give you 10 minus 1 over 10 which is 9 over 10. So all of this is 1 over 9 over 10. And now taking the, the reciprocal of this, it's going to give you 10 over 9. And now if we were to subtract the 1 from it, okay, so 10 over 9 minus 1, okay, we can expand this by 9 over 9, giving us 10 minus 9 over 9, which is 1 ninth. So meaning overall, this geometric series is going to turn into 9 times, and all of this what we have in big brackets is going to turn into 1 ninth. And I mean, this is what we got before. 9 and 9 are going to cancel out, giving us 1 in the process. And once again, we have shown with another upgraded level of mathematics that 0.9 repeating is actually nothing other than 1. And this basically concludes all the methods I wanted to show you today. One more method that I don't really consider a method right here is just by observing that we can, um, if we rewrite this right here in just a periodic part, notation, okay, with a bar at the top, we can express it um, like a fraction in the way that we take the repeating part, 9, and just fill everything in the denominator with 9s that we have in digits up here. So with a 9, and this is going to turn into 1 again. So strictly speaking, we got four methods here using just the stuff we have derived in former videos. And this basically concludes the video. If you did like this video, then definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and to share the video around. Also, don't forget to check out Filmora. It's a very, very good problem, uh, <laughs> program. I tell you, sorry, a little bit out of breath. It's pretty warm in here with the jacket on. Um, yeah, but, but but honestly speaking, it's a very good program. Um, if you are new to YouTube, for example, or want to create a YouTube channel, then I invite you to try out Filmora as your um, main source of video editing because it really gets the job done and you can add a lot of effects, which is really nice in my opinion. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching and yeah, up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Don't forget to check out the new merch. I really like this one. The whole new collection is out now completely. And yeah, up until the next video, have a flammable day. Ciao.